What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. It's an AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender, RE305 from TP-Link. Seemed to get pretty good reviews, and I've kind of used range extenders in the past without very good success, and I think I've probably never shown you any because uh, invariably they don't really work <laughs> very well. And the ones that, you know, get really good reviews for working really well and being plug and play are like three or 400 bucks. That's just... I think ridiculous to me. There is a QR code here. If you're looking for more information, you can probably scan that off your computer screen. Now, I did want to get this one, like I said, because it, it got pretty good reviews and it wasn't that expensive, under 30 bucks. And I'm just gonna unbox it here and then we'll kind of try it out. Oops, it fell out there. Looks like uh, got this. And a little instruction card or something there. And I will say that the reason I'm getting this is because my Wi-Fi router from my cable company, AT&T, is on one end of my house and when you're on the other end of the house, the internet signal is dog poo, right? And so I really needed a range extender in my opinion. And, you know, a lot of the homebrew recommendations that you find online, like move your wireless router. Well, I don't have a choice on that because it is where they installed it. And that's where the cable t from the outside comes in. So I just don't have any choice. But this is kind of like uh, a... <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know what, what you might call it, like a, a pumping station to me, right? So if, you, if you're familiar with like oil pipelines, you know, it's not like they just put it in one end of the pipe and it just rolls the other. It kind of can, it, it kind of gets pumped to a station and then kind of uh, goes through the pipe and then kind of runs out of steam and another pumping station, you know, uh, accelerates it. And so that's what I kind of feel like these extenders are because you kind of put this in the middle of the house, it'll receive a signal, the Wi-Fi signal, and then it will rebroadcast it, right? So uh, the what the ones you want, and I think this is supposed to be, yep, it's a dual band, so it'll kind of receive on one band, and then it'll broadcast that same signal on an additional band. And so the dual bands are supposed to be nice as opposed to having a conflicting signal on the same band. So I think what you want is dual band. Now, the other issue with this is, is to me, as opposed to kind of having like a repeater where they're all broadcasting on the same signal, what you actually do is you plug this in, you connect to the Wi-Fi network that gets set up uh, that this broadcasts out with your computer, you log in via the IP address, and then you actually have to kind of create a new network. So if you have like home wireless network, it's called home wireless network is the uh, ID. What you're actually setting up is a second home wireless network extended. And, and so you'd actually have two kind of wireless network identifiers and you know you could use the same password and all that but I, I, I guess that's just kind of what people are used to and that's kind of what's acceptable although it would be preferable to me and we'll find out if I could broadcast the exact same ID so that I don't have to add a new network to my phone and authenticate it because I feel like it's not that I don't get a signal it's not a true dead zone. It's just a weak signal and it's a slow signal. So I don't know that it's going to hand off to the stronger signal just because like one, the main signal is weak, right? I wish it would just, if you have home Wi-Fi network as your ID, that it would just broadcast right on there and kind of just reinforce and kind of boost up that signal. But I don't think that's really how it works. So here's what it looks like. Dual prongs. Let me get off my soapbox. Uh, you know, white plastic housing, gloss on this side, TP link. You have two swivel antennas here. Looks like some holes for venting heat, I'm guessing. And so it looks pretty high tech. Uh, on the top here, we have your WPS button. You have uh, four LEDs for power signal, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And then on the bottom, you have a cord for, you know, an ethernet cable and then a reset button. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and I'll try setting it up and we'll just see, you know, what you're allowed to do with it. So the first thing you're gonna do is plug in the extender, and then you're gonna open up your computer, and in my case, a Mac here, and I'm gonna click on TP-Link Extender 2.4 gigahertz. And that's gonna connect us to that Wi-Fi network. Okay. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi signal that the repeater's putting out, you wanna open your browser, in this case, I'm opening Safari, and I'm going to type in tplinkrepeater.com. And now it'll take me to the range extender uh, page and uh, for security you have to create a login password for your device so I'll just do that now. once you're in I guess it's gonna do a little scanning exercise 
you're going to select your home network and then it's going it's asking me for the password to that home network so enter that here and then click next all right guys so i've got it set up here and i will tell you that this tp link quick installation guy was all i needed and one of the awesome things about it is i actually uh, got a chance and took my devices around to the parts of the house where either i was getting almost no signal or a very low signal and i am getting you know a full wi-fi signal uh, in every corner of the house. So the cool thing is I didn't need to add a new network. It still seems to be broadcasting on the original uh, name of my uh, home Wi-Fi network. So really I'm pretty impressed with the plug and play. And like I said, a, a full Wi-Fi signal uh, over my entire house. Awesome. Dude, I'm, I'm stoked about it. Check it out. I'll put a link to the description. Peter Von Panda out.